Hey YTPC, Levi the Basement Piper here. Coming at you guys for a, uh, another video that's long overdue. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's been a while. I just uh, got so much going on lately that I just haven't really had much of the time nor the effort to make one. Uh, drinking some LaCroix. This is the Raz Cranberry. Hope everyone's doing good and um, staying safe. I know a lot of the restrictions now are getting lifted or lessened in certain places, so. Um, you know, that is nice. We can get back to doing certain things, I guess, now. Uh, I was just in town and did all shopping today and really no one was wearing masks and it's kind of weird how after a year um, now not wearing masks it seems weird you know but it means progress uh, as a country and as a nation so that is very good anyway don't really know where to start because it's been so long but uh, i'm just going to go over some new stuff I've got recently and I'm gonna be jarring some tobacco today so you'll get to see that as well um, actually first things first I want to show you guys this so this is Cornell and Deal's Oak Alley I did a uh, I think I did a review on this you know a while ago um, but it's a whole pound of it in here. It's from the Cellar series, and there's 16 ounces, give or take, in here. So, finally filled this thing up, and I'm gonna, and this thing is in the back of my shelf, and it's just gonna sit there. I broke off a few little pieces to smoke here and there, but for the most part, I'm just gonna let that age as much as possible. Uh, let's see what else. So yeah, so I just kind of blended this up today. So a while ago, I'd ordered some Cornell and Deal's Dark Burley, and I just put that in this jar, and um, I would smoke it now and then, or add it to an aromatic that was maybe a little too aromaticy. Um, but then my last order, I ordered some. Cornell and Deal, Red Virginia Ribbon. So, I guesstimated it was about an ounce and a half after I smoked some of the Dark Burley. And then two full ounces of the Red Virginia Ribbon. I did have a bowl of this after I got done mixing it. And it was very good. I didn't... Oh, it didn't... Uh, I mean, it wasn't spectacular or anything, but this is just a great mixture that um, you can just have any time. Burley gives it a nice uh, base with uh, the Stark Burley's kind of, to me it's kind of woody um, and dry and smoky, if that makes sense. And this Red Virginia is just very, um, how do I describe that, like vinegar, sweet vinegar. Uh, and then you got your grass and and your your hay notes there. So this is a good mixture. Um, I will be I'm sure smoking more of this as it continues to marry in there. I think when I had that first bowl, you know, it was pretty freshly um, blended and mixed together. So flavors hasn't haven't quite mingled together, but. It was still very good and it's only going to get better. It's got Virginia, so you know she's going to age well. Uh, I think that's, oh no, I'm going to say I think that's it for new tobacco, but I also got this jar that I just continued filling up today. This is Cornell and Deal's Canal Boat. It is. 
And I'll just read the description that I cut out and put on the back. This is a smooth blend of nutty, cute burley, enhanced with Cyprian Latakia and unflavored black Cavendish. So, it's a pretty good mixture. It smells very good. Sometimes when I smell it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's Latakia forward. And other times it just smells like burley. Um, but it's a great mixture. I think this is going to be kind of a... This could be an all-day smoke. I've had a few bowls of it, and it's not bad. Good to have in quantity, because it's just good stuff. Burley, Latakia, unsweetened black Cavendish. Okay. Um, no, you guys know about Redburn. I've showed you Redburn. One of my favorites. And today, for the jars that we're going to have, so... I got this mason jar with these lids, which I really like. So I got the good rubber seal and a good wide mouth for easy filling. And these have a nice square side. So when, like for me, um, like on Sam's blend and for everything else, I just cut off the labels and then package tape them over. So these, Nice uh, flat edges really work nice for that. So I got this one, and I got this bigger one. Probably not going to fill us up today, but I also wanted to tell you guys, look at thrift stores, um, secondhand stores, because I got this big one for $4.99 and this one for $3.99, which is really good for these. These can be pretty expensive if you buy them um, new or from like a name brand kind of store so this thing i'm just going to put over here for now but this one i'm going to fill with some black frigate well that's not going to fill it hopefully this will uh when tony the utah piper sent me 38 balloons to try which I'm still very thankful for and grateful. Thanks, Tony, again. Black Frigate was among uh, some of the blends, and I really liked it. So I ordered a two-ounce tin just to make sure. And, yeah, I've been going through this stuff like crazy. It's amazing, so ordered eight ounces of it. Going to put it in here. These eight-ounce eight tins are so cool. Yeah, my tobacco cellar is getting pretty full. <laughs> I could probably stop at any time. Oh, man, that's so good. Now, if you don't know what Black Frigate is, it's Latakia and Turkish are added to Blockade Runner Navy Cavendish. So if you don't know, there's... Um, you know, Cornell and Deal has their different series, like Working Man series, Seller series, um, Appalachian Trail series, stuff like that. So this is part of the Navy, Navy something, um, Navy Crumble Cakes, or I think that's what it is. But anyway, so there's two. There's this one and Blockade Runner, which I just finished up. Actually, I didn't finish it up. My six months old puppy <laughs> I left it sitting on the counter and when I came back today you know, there's tobacco everywhere and that tin was destroyed but if you don't know what blockade runner is it is the uh, sister or brother to this blend so Latakia and Turkish are added to our blockade runner Navy Cavendish which is Virginia's soaked and aged in rum to produce to produce a true royal navy blend pressed and cut into an old-fashioned crumble cake and uh yeah this stuff is just 
amazing. I like rum blends, navy blends. Uh, Redburn's not necessarily a navy blend. I think this is from the Melville at Sea, um, but this is rum and molasses. And this was very similar to Blockade Runner. And this is like Blockade Runner on steroids. So, this is what you get. Nice crumble cakes like this. Oh goodness. Not really sure how I feel about <clears throat> how Cornell and Deal packs these. No, that's kind of a dumb thing to complain about. I just can't help but thinking there'd be a better way. Or do you really need all of these? Do you really need to waste all this paper? That's what it is, just a bunch of cakes folded into these little papers. Like that. Oh, I didn't even look. Date on this one is... February 21st of... Oh, February 15th. 2020. The year of our Lord, 2021. Yeah, I'm always just uh, interested to see how people do their... Um, they're jarring. I know everyone does a little different how they like to label what they have jarred, size jars, blah, blah, blah. So, if you guys need any um, ideas for a video or anything, I'd love to kind of see how you guys store your tobacco. Cool. So that filled it up. Decently. I still have a little bit in here too, so throw that on top. I I really just try to keep the cakes um, intact as most I can and then just kind of smoke through the stuff that spills off, I guess. Here, put this in my recycling corner. Shove this last cake down in here. And I still got room if I want to buy any more. Then later on I will <clears throat> cut right here. Cut out the description and tape it on here. But I'm not gonna do that in this video because I forgot my tape and my scissors and, and you guys don't really care about me taping labels onto a jar, I'm sure. So, anyway, there's some black frigate. Where the heck am I gonna put this? I don't really know, but. I guess we'll figure that out later. I also have eight ounces of Berry Good, which I was kind of planning on putting in here. But I also have um, probably an ounce of Berry Good left, or maybe a little more than an ounce or two of Berry Good in here. I just love Berry Good so much that I wanted to buy eight ounces of it. And this is from, I don't know what this barcode is here, but that date doesn't make any sense, but that one, 426-2017. So, it got interesting. This is, this is just how it came when I ordered it. 
so it's already 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Already got four years of age on it. So, never really had a an aromatic that's had any kind of age to it. So I'll be curious to see how that how that is. Um, I don't know if aromatics age very well or or what. Oh, also forgot one thing to show you that I like to do. A lot of my jarred tobaccos. Like, let's see. You can see in this canal boat this little puck that comes. Uh, this little paper thing comes with most Cornell and Deal blends. I just like to put that on the top. Um, cakes doesn't really matter, but for ribbon or any kind of loose cut, I feel like it just kind of keeps it all down there. And that's the way it comes, so that's just the way I like to keep it. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it, guys. I just kind of wanted to catch up, show you guys what I've, what I've had recently, and uh, show you how I jar my stuff. Still no baby yet, but she can come any day. So, getting ready for that. Super excited. Can't wait. Um, and yeah, that's really about it that's been going on with me. Just work, getting ready for the baby, dogs. <sighs> yeah, it's just I've had no... You guys know what it's like. Time is... Not something that uh, you can make more of. It seems like you never have enough. So with that being said, probably gonna load up my Peterson uh, Irish Army, some Black Frigate, go sit on the porch and chill. And Next video I do will probably be a review of my Cornell and Deal Dark Burley and Red Virginia Ribbon mixture. I'd like to send some of this out to you guys if you want to try it. Nothing special, but it's just uh, all straight, straight up tobaccos blended together. And it's very good. So, be excited to show you guys that. Other than that, I think I can call this video good. 18 minutes. It's much longer than anyone needs to hear me talk for. So, hope everyone's doing good, staying safe, staying healthy, staying positive. Smoking some good tobacco. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.